I'd like to take some time to talk about when to give up, and this is kind of a difficult question to answer. So the, the predicament I'm in is, um, I had this idea, and it was so cool in my mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest idea ever, and it's going to be awesome. So then I work on it a bunch, and I come up with something pretty cool, um, at least I thought at the time, and then, um, like, basically then after time passes, you know, basically I realized that the detail I added, you know, this cool little thing, uh, is not noticeable at all. No one will ever notice it. And <laughs> then I'm like, crap, you know, because it was so cool up here, and, and I thought it would work out really well. Uh, it did not. So, um, I, uh, I went back to the, not, maybe not to the drawing board, but I went back and, and I revisited the idea and changed some parameters to hopefully make it, make it more noticeable. And then it was kind of like too noticeable and um, I, I didn't like the behavior and so then I went to the back to the drawing board again and changed its behavior again and then still I'm not happy with it. And um, you know, I, I have, um, I have, uh, you know, another idea last night because I was really bummed about it and I kept thinking about how can I save this, how can I save this, um, which hopefully will be cool, I don't know yet for sure, but I'm gonna try and get some work done on that today, um, but the, there's a couple of interesting questions and, um, you know, uh, the, the first thing is, when do you give up? When do you say, you know, this isn't working, I'm going to stop spending uh, my time on it? And um, that's tough. And, and certainly there are things like, uh, let's say, the, like the candle effect. Um, so we have a new candle effect, and, and uh, you know, for, uh, that, I don't know how long it took me, but I had to try a couple different things. And uh, if it didn't work out, then we still need a candle, so I, I guess I would have to keep working on it indefinitely until I figured something out. Uh, so uh, obviously there are some uh, situations where it's difficult to um, it's difficult to completely quit, you know, basically cut your losses. But for other aspects of development, you know, particular features that may be appealing to you, uh, th things like that, it's, it's hard to say when it's good to sort of give up and, and uh, say, okay, I spent a lot of time on this, but it's really never going to work out, and it's becoming a time sink, and any more time I put in here is, is a waste. And that's, that's a challenging... Um, question to ask, but it's an important question to ask, and, and so, you know, on retrograde, uh, there were a lot of things that I spent a lot of time on, you know, trying to perfect, trying to create, you know, as good as humanly possible, um, and, uh, that obviously wasn't the best development methodology, as I've I've talked uh, numerous times about about uh, things that I screwed up on with, with retrograde, um, and I mean I'm pretty happy with with how things uh, you know, with how the game turned out on, on Never Ending Nightmares, um, and I think one of the things um, that uh, helped me is basically I wrote weekly updates and. So I had to try and have an impressive weekly update. If I said, you know, I did nothing and um, I uh, spent a week just tweaking all these little things, um, I don't think anyone would be very pleased with that. They'd be like, oh, you took my money and now you're, I don't know, wasting it. Uh, so um, that's definitely definitely a, a helpful thing, at least for me and, and the way that I work, um, because as, as I mentioned, you know, I do have trouble um, in terms of, uh, you know, being obsessive, in terms of, 
you know, keep working on something and, and keep working on it forever and ever and ever uh, until it's perfect. And so, you know, that sort of weekly update um, is is helpful to me. But, you know, the, the thing that I think is, is most important to convey is I, I don't know if there's a right answer. And it's very tough to... Uh, to make that decision because, you know, if you give up, maybe it was the next time that, that you uh, would have figured it out. And I think, you know, in that sense, it's sort of like the, the uh, you know, gambler's uh, paradox, you know, one last bet, you know, this is the time, you know, that I'm going to win. And so it, it's tough, and I don't know if I have any real answers. Um, but I think probably what's what's best is to try and prioritize your work and say, um, you know, what am I working on now? What could I be working on? And then work on the most pressing uh, aspect um, of the game. And uh, then I think it's important to um, to basically sometimes give things time. Uh, like, I was, you know, really, well, I was happy with, with the thing that I've been working on for a while, and then I put it away, and then I realized I wasn't happy with it. But sometimes, you know, the opposite happens, and you work on something, and you're frustrated with it, and then you give it some time, and then uh, you, you start to like it. You start to sort of appreciate um, what you did more, and, and I think that's... Um, definitely a beneficial uh, approach um, is, is basically give yourself some space and you know you may come up with a really good idea in that um, determine in, in that uh, intermediate time where you're not working on it but I think uh, the main thing is to stay focused on on the the goals and and uh, you know in in pre-production you're trying to make, uh, the, the vertical slice that will answer the most questions about the game. And, uh, in, in, um, in, uh, you know, actual production, you know, you have that schedule to keep, you have to create the levels you want to create. So I think, um, that's really important, uh, to, to keep up with your schedule. And so, um, I think, uh, basically focusing on the thing, and then, you know, like, the the thing that I've been working on and, and struggling with, uh, I don't think anyone will say it, it made or broke the game, you know, it's it's a detail that I think would be cool and creepy, but, uh, I mean, I, I, I definitely, it's definitely something I don't think it's worth sinking a ton of time into, so, uh, anyway, I, I'll try and uh, t do my my one last idea, and then if that doesn't work out, then then maybe I'll I'll cut it. But the problem with that is, you know, there there's the sort of emotional component. There's the idea that oh, I put all this work into it, and it was a good idea, so why can't I, you know, just spend a little more time on it? Um, so it definitely sucks to say okay, I'm going to walk away from this. Um, but it may be something you you have to do. Um, and, uh, I don't know, um, I'll, I'll, uh, keep my fingers crossed that I, I don't, uh, end up at a position where I'm sinking way too much time into this. Anyway, thanks for watching.